And in case you weren't aware, we recently held our very first Sea of Thieves Community Day. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. Reaper's Hideout, the dark and miserable lair of the Servant of Flame, if that is your real name. Constructed by the Warsmith, aka the Masked Stranger, she was given orders by presumably Flameheart Senior to construct a fort much like the ones we see dotted around the world. But with one cunning difference. Rather than holding tribute to the Dark Lord himself, people would bring the tribute instead. It's kind of like a satanic pyramid scheme, except it works. Sort of. I mean, we do bring the loot from Flameheart's ghost fleets and his Ashen Lords here. That much doesn't really make sense. But loot in Sea of Thieves sort of exists in a jelly realm, where some of it makes no sense where the storyline is concerned. But with the new preview footage of the upcoming adventure, Shrouded Islands, we see what is obviously a Reaper's Phantom. And phantoms are not necessarily ghosts. They are memories, shadows of what once occurred. The ambient threat phantoms that we see in game right now were brought forward by Davy Jones from the Sea of the Damned to fight for him. They're not dead people, but rather shadow memories from the outside world. So that would suggest that the Reaper phantoms are memories of what could have possibly happened prior to the construction of Reaper's Hideout. Why do I think this? Well. One thing that may have gone unnoticed in the preview footage for the Shrouded Islands was the inclusion of a phantom bird. And if you zoom in closely, you can see that this is in fact a Reaper's bird. These were cosmetics available in the Pirate Emporium, said to be constructed by dark magic. And if you look at the pictures at Reaper's Hideout, you can see that these animals have been constructed by wood and then given life by some unknown magic. What's interesting about this is, we always assumed that the Masked Stranger was responsible for the construction of these pets as she loved to draw things, and a lot of her drawings can still be seen littered around Reaper's hideout. But this is what got me thinking. I started thinking about Apex Gaming PCs. Ooh, look at all these great PCs just sitting there waiting for you to purchase them. Wait, wait, these are Captain Falcor PCs? They are, because I am partnered with Apex Gaming PCs. They will slap the PC together for you and you can choose your bespoke hardware for your totally badass gaming rig and then laugh in the face of the cretins of the below. <laughs> and if you use code FALCOR at checkout, you can save yourself some cold hard cash. Apex Gaming PCs. All the links are down below. Join the master race. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So if the new updates are revolving around the islands being shrouded, and we see a Reaper's pet memory looking over the destruction, and we know that the Masked Stranger and the Dark Brethren have taken refuge in the Sea of the Damned, that would suggest that these memories are memories of the Servant of Flame, and not the Masked Stranger, which would then also suggest that these pets were not created by the Masked Stranger, but the Servant of Flame. When the Masked Stranger was constructing Reaper's Hideout, she would not tell us who her investor was, or what she was doing. She merely stated that she had an investor, and we all assumed it was Flameheart Senior, as at the time, that's the person she was being indoctrinated by. But could have the investor actually been the Servant of Flame? who was very obviously Flameheart's son. Don't make me go into that again. All the evidence points towards it, so shh. Tie it in with these lines that were used in the Christmas livestream too. Memories can be harnessed and focused, bent to your will. Memories can be powerful allies and accursed weapons. And you have yourself proof that the memories that are being used are that of the Reapers, which means the memories of the Servant of Flame. He even says this. Once bound at sea, but now true freedom calls you back, moving like a deathly veil across the waves. The sands of gold will be shrouded and all be chained eternally as sea-bound souls. A deathly veil 
much like the Deathly Veil vale scene covering the Golden Sands. Is this the new attack plan of Flameheart Senior, transforming himself into a Deathly Veil vale to consume islands? True freedom for all eternity. Or it could be like a hint towards the ice zone or something, I don't know. Well, this sucks. 